Hey everybody, this is Libby at Breathe. Um, you know, it's, I don't know if you've heard, but it's kind of a stressful time. Um, and one of the things that we do when we have extra stress is we hold our muscles tightly. Um, and our jaw muscles are just another set of muscles. So, and it's not just um, um, the muscles in our jaw that give us jaw pain, neck pain, headaches. It's also the muscles in our neck. It has to do with our posture. It has to do with us holding tension in our muscles. So when we feel like a situation is out of control, when we have all of our children at home and we're trying to work and we're trying to homeschool and we're trying not to lose our minds, we tend to hold, and we're trying not to yell at anybody much, we tend to hold tension in some of our muscles. And different people hold, mu hold tension in different muscles in different ways. Some people hold tension in their jaws, some people hold tension in their shoulders, some people hold tension in their stomachs, some people hold tension in their pelvic floor muscles. The good news is that easing the muscle tension in our jaws, our necks, our shoulders, our pelvic floor, our abdomens, it's the same no matter which. It's just learning how to relax our muscles. It's learning to start paying attention to when things get stressful. And instead of being able to say something, we tighten our jaws. And you know what? It's Sometimes it's really subtle. Like you don't even know. If you knew you were clenching your jaw and holding your shoulders up around your ears, you'd stop, right? But we, we don't necessarily notice. So what it takes is getting a little bit mindful about how we feel during the day. Are we starting to feel, I think about it as like energy. Is our energy going up, 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 up? Or can we get our energy to go down and let ourselves melt and let these muscles melt? Now, there's like, if you've got jaw pain, neck pain, headaches, one of the breathing and meditation practice on our YouTube channel, there are a few uh, meditations. You can find them, you know, there's lots of apps, Headspace. Um, I know is doing something. We've got calm. Those are all apps, but because we hold a lot of tension in our jaw when we're neck, when we're stressed and anxious, and overwhelmed and worried and busy. Sometimes we don't even feel like we're stressed, stressed or anxious or overwhelmed, but we're just busy. I am, you know, I see a lot of people talking about how are you like you don't have anything to do at home. I don't know about you, but I'm working from home a lot more. I've got three kids at home. I'm trying to like get them some kind of homeschool and sometimes it feels like I have a lot more to do and they're home all the time so I have to feed them all the time. I didn't used to have to feed them all the time. They used to eat lunch somewhere else and so there's more dishes and there's more meals to plan and we're not going out so we've got to cook more. So I'm not necessarily stressed or anxious but I'm busier and then I start to hold tension in my neck or this morning I was on my computer a lot and so my neck got tight from just holding my shoulders. And these muscles, they go right into your jaw. And these muscles are tight, they can make your jaw feel tight. So we can do, so a couple of things to think about when it comes to jaw pain is, number one is where our head, besides stress and busyness and holding tension in our muscles, number one is our head position. So our head, your head weighs 10 pounds. For every centimeter, a lot, I see a lot of necks that look like this. That makes these muscles work really, really hard. So get your head back over your shoulders so these muscles don't have to work so hard because these muscles, they attach right behind your ear, right at your jaw. So if these muscles are working too hard, they can make your jaw hurt. Same thing with your shoulders. Forward shoulders, typing, forward head, all that tension. So it's about getting your shoulder blades back without lifting your chest and getting your head back. And you know, we talk about that all the time. So that's number that's number two is posture because when our heads are here, like it can make it it can now look what happens when my head's here. So this is the bottom of my jaw. When my head's forward, the bottom of my jaw is jutting forward too. So my jaw isn't lined up right when my head's really far forward. So when we get our heads back, even when we sleep, so when we're sleeping, and I we did a, a Facebook post when we're all hunched over and rounded when we're sleeping that still lines our jaw up and shoulders up in a unhealthy way. So even when we're sleeping, trying even if you're sleeping on your side, trying to stay more lined up and not all hunched over can help your jaw feel better. Especially even like teeth grinding, same thing. Like getting that lined up better can make a world of difference. You can massage your neck. This muscle right here, I know it's kind of weird. This is your sternocleidomastoid. I really like saying that muscle. 
and it goes from here, which is your, your clido, which is your um, clavicle, and your sternum up to your mastoid process. And so this is this big muscle, and it gets, you can kind of see how I can pick it up, it gets lots of knots, and those knots can radiate to your jaw. They can also give you headaches around your ear, so this muscle needs to be massaged. So you can just kind of pick it up and you can kind of pinch it between your muscles. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of weird, but it feels really good and it can get really tight and sore. And here's how you stretch the sternocleidomastoid muscle is chin comes back and then you side bend towards the, if I'm, if I'm trying to stretch my this side, side bend my ear to the opposite side and look up to the side towards the muscle that you want to stretch. So that stretches this front muscle, this sternocleidomastoid muscle, because it has knots and it can go into your jaw. Um, your shoulder blade, your upper trap muscles, these muscles, those can radiate into your jaw, make your jaw hurt. You know what? Even just the muscles of your jaw right here, these are called your masseter muscles. Look at how I'm kind of digging my, my finger in. Even just rubbing your face right there can help your jaw feel better. It's a little bit odd and crazy and weird, but that muscle's inside your mouth too. So if you put your finger inside your cheek and push straight out, that can ease some of the tension on your jaw. So we talked about um, meditation, breathing, relaxation, and just mindfulness of learning if we're starting to hold our muscles a little bit more tensely so that we can relax them. We see people all the time whose shoulders are up here and they don't even know it. That, those muscles, they get tight and that makes everything hurt, gives you headaches, neck pain, jaw pain. So we gotta relax the shoulders away from the ears. We gotta get our heads from here. A lot of you look like this. I know you think it looks crazy, but a lot of you look like this. You've gotta stop it. You just have to, you just have to remind yourself. So your head's here, it's gotta come back here. Shoulder blades can't be here, they gotta be here. Chest can't be here, it's gotta be down. So chest straight ahead, shoulder blades rounded, head back, that lines everything up better. Some neck stretches, look to the side that hurts, and side bend away. That stretches this muscle. Hold on to your foot, take your ear to your opposite shoulder, gently, very, very gently. Over stretching these muscles just makes them hurt. Imagine if you had a knot in a sweater and you yanked on the sweater, you'd make the knot tighter, right? So when we're stretching our neck muscles, we have to be so gentle. And if you, what happens if we don't anchor our, I've got my foot, my hand anchored under my leg. See, now that makes this stay down. What happens a lot is if we don't anchor, we just do this. We just <laughs> side bend out instead of keeping a shoulder blade down. So we're stretching our necks, we're working on our posture, we're working on our stress and anxiety, um, and we're massaging. So we're massaging our jaw, even from the inside of your cheek, we're massaging the sternocleidomastoid, and we're massaging this um, upper trap muscle. So if you watch the whole thing, if you have some jaw pain, if you have neck pain, headaches, I hope you'll let us know. I hope you'll let us know how we can help. I hope you'll share this if you think that other people could help, could use some help with the, the jaw pain, which is so, so common during times of uncertainty. Um, so I'm Libby with Breathe Physical Therapy and Wellness. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.